Hi, Emily here for Anna Lane, and we are sewing up the sunshine dress, and I wanted to show you a really simple hack, um, and I just call it a hem band, so it's just a contrasting band along the bottom of um, the hem, so it'll go along the bottom of my skirt here, so instead of a ruffle or um, just hemming my fabric, I'm going to add some of my pink fabric here. I'm just going to make a band that's folded in and it's going to be no ruffle. It's going to be the same width as my skirt. I just think it's a really fun um, way to add um, some contrast without the ruffle or anything like that. So what I do is um, I have my bottom skirt pattern piece here and I cut my skirt the width of where I would normally have cut it for adding the optional ruffle. I just fold it in so I can always just reuse this pattern piece. And what you can do is you just measure along the bottom to see how wide you would need it. Um, and then you can make your own pattern piece, but always remember that it needs to be cut on the fold. And because it's going to be folded in half and then sewn to the skirt, you need to kind of double how wide you need your measurement. So the optional ruffle is two and a half inches wide. And so you could do um, your length times like five inches by five inches for your, um, or that's for your length. So five inches by the width of your skirt. But what I actually do is... Um, I just take my pattern piece and I just measure the five inches here. So I take my straight edge and measure the five inches and then just make a mark on my pattern piece and fold my pattern piece and use that as my um, hem band cutting guide. Now. I print print in black and white because I have a laser printer. So I just make sure I use like a different colored pen so I know which line is which. You can do a marker, you can like I said you can do your own pattern piece if you want to, but I just this is what I like to do. So then I just fold at that line and then just kind of fold this in so it's all tucked in and it kind of folds in there really nicely and so now to kind of remind myself that it needs to be cut on the fold I will just make a little mark here so that's my pattern piece to cut my contrasting hem band. So I'm choosing the pink that matches my bodice. So it kind of brings in my bodice color and, um, and the hem all together. So then I just lay out and fold up my pattern piece. And it's kind of, you'll need to cut two because you cut two skirts. So you're not just cutting one hem band, you're cutting two hem bands. this out there's no wrinkles in there all right and then you will just cut out pattern weights. So remember, you're cutting out two pieces, two hem bands, and you are actually just going to assemble them just like you do the skirt. So you're going to create a loop with the two and then um, just going to press them wrong sides together and attach them to the bottom of the skirt super easy. I will um, finish cutting this out 
and then make it into a loop and show you how I pin it and then sew it to the bottom of the skirt to make a fun little contrasting hem band. So I have my two bands here and I'm just going to sew them short sides together and make a loop and then once they're in a loop I'm just going to press press them in half and then I will be back to show you how I attach them to my skirt. So we're back with our skirt piece and our hem band piece and so you'll notice that I created the loop and then I just press them wrong sides together so if you're using a printed fabric you'll really need to make sure wrong sides together so um, in in half and so now we have a band piece so now we are going to match up the side seams of the skirt and then the seam uh, the side seams of the hem band and just pin or clip them just raw edges and then do it on the other side the other side seam of the band and then the other side seam of the skirt double check to make sure that um, if you're using a directional print that you are attaching your hem band to the right edge you want to you, you don't want your print to be upside down so you'll notice that I have these birds and I want to make sure that they're right side up so now we're just going to line up the raw edges and pin every once in a while all the way around And it should be since, you know, since we measured that pattern piece or if you just went ahead and like I did and used the pattern piece for your template, then it is a perfect match. And that's what you want. You just want them it to be the, the same size as the bottom of the skirt. Mommy. So now that we have everything pinned, we are now going to go back to the sewing machine, machine serger, whichever you use, and attach our hem band to our skirt. And then that portion is done. And then we'll move on um, to the gathering and the attaching of the bodice. So if you um, check out the other video, it talks about how um, I gather and how we are going to attach the skirt to the bodice.